welcome everyone in this video I will talk about linear regression I will also talk about problems related to linear regression uh, properties of regression coefficient angle between regression line and its related concepts so this will be a long video you need to watch till the very end to get a better idea of it and if you complete this video it will take care of your uh, regression uh, you know topic completely so uh, let's uh, start uh, first of all what is regression analysis so you just look at this regression is the study of the nature of relationship between the variables so that one may be able to predict the unknown value of one variable for a known value of the other variable so basically in a regression analysis one variable is considered as an independent variable and another variable is taken as the dependent variable on the basis of the value of uh, independent variable so just to get an idea suppose uh, if I ask you that what will be the population of India in the year uh, 2030 so uh, as a student what you are expected to do so you are going to look at the data and try to find a curve which can best fit to that data and then you will extrapolate that data and will predict the value of the population of India in 2030 so uh, that uh, best fit curve may be anything it may be a straight line it may be a, uh, a curve which we don't know it will depend upon the data that we are analyzing so in particular in this uh, video I will be talking about linear regression so what is linear regression if the variables in a bivariate distribution are related we will find that the points in the scatter diagram will cluster around some curve called the curve of regression if the curve is a straight line it is called the line of regression and there is said to be a linear regression between variables otherwise regression is said to be curvilinear uh, the line of regression is the line of best fit and is obtained by the principle of least square what is the principle of least square I will not go into its detail but uh, just to get an idea uh, we have seen in our regression video that what is this uh, scatter diagram so suppose we have x axis and we have y axis and suppose there is a uh, list of data points which are plotted in this x y plane so if you look at this data point you realize that uh, uh, a line can be fit to it suppose I fit a line here so suppose I draw a line so uh, this line is uh, drawn in such a way that uh, it minimizes its distance from all the points so suppose you draw a, drop a perpendicular distance from this point on this line and uh, similarly means uh, you uh, measure all the perpendicular distances and you uh, try to fit the line in such a way that this line uh, for uh, this data set is the best fit line okay so to make more sense of it I'll be uh, talking about the mathematical aspect of it and uh, in the mathematical aspect the first thing is that when we talk about the line of regression there are two kinds of regression line one line is uh, line of regression of y on x and another is uh, x on y so when I say line of regression of y on x uh, basically in this case x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable so this is the regression line of y on x and uh, uh, in uh, regression line uh, of x on y uh, y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable so first what we are going to do we are going to uh, find the normal equations which will help us to uh, find the coefficient a and b so basically when we are trying to write the line of regression of y on x uh, this in this relation what is not known is the coefficient a and b so how to get the coefficient a and b and for that what we are going to do is we are going to write the normal equations and you need to understand this very carefully because this is the very very important part so the original equation is y is equal to a plus bx 
right and suppose we have n data sets like uh, if you look at this example these are the five values of x and these are the five value of y so similarly suppose we have n data point n pair of x y so what we do we first add uh, both sides means basically we take the summation in both sides so if we take the summation in both sides what we get we get summation of y is equal to n into a plus b into summation of x i hope you uh, got this uh, idea that what i am doing just to explain it so that you are very much clear about this suppose we have five points so uh, i am calling those five points like x1 comma y1 uh, x2 comma y2 uh, x3 comma y3 uh, x4 comma y4 and x5 comma y5 right and suppose i want to find the value of uh, y6 uh, for a given value of x that is x6 so for that what we have to do we have to uh, first fit a, a straight line into this and to fit a, a straight line we have to uh, take a line like this and then we have to find the coefficient a and coefficient b okay so uh, to find the best fit line what we do uh, suppose we have this so if i put uh, the value of uh, y1 here suppose i say for uh, x1 this will be y1 is equal to a plus bx1 for x2 this will be y2 is equal to a plus bx2 for x3 y3 is equal to a plus bx3 for x4 it will be y4 is equal to a plus b x4 and for uh, x5 it will be y5 is equal to a plus b x to the power 5 so if you add all of this in the left hand side what we can do we can uh, add the summation of all y so we can say summation of y i i varies from 1 to 5 so here we are just taking the summation depending upon the number of points whatever it will be that summation will run over that those points now in the right hand side did you notice the point which i want you to explain that actually if you add a will come how many times a will come five times so i will write five a so here we are writing n into a because uh, this uh, uh, you know uh, a will come n number of time where n is the number of ordered pair or the set of data points we are taking and similarly if you look at the second term b will be constant and here we can write summation of x i i varies from 1 to 5 so basically uh, this is how you write the uh, first normal equation you call this equation number one and then uh, what you do you multiply this equation by x so if you multiply this equation by x and then take summation in both sides so if you multiply it by x it becomes x y and then you take the summation uh, here in the right hand side if you multiply a by x you will get a and summation of x and then if you multiply this by x you will get b and this summation of x square so we are getting two equations uh, one is this and another is this Di these two equations are said to be the normal equation and using these two equations we can find the uh, values of a and b so basically what we will do we will solve these two equation and uh, by solving these two equations we can get the value of a and b one thing i want you to note here that if you look at the first equation this equation and if you divide uh, both sides by n so here you get summation of y by n in the right hand side n and n will cancel so i will write n a by n plus b into summation of x by n so this n and n cancel and i hope you know that if i take the summation of y by n basically it will give me the average of y that i am writing y bar and here we are getting a and then in the right hand side summation of x by n is nothing but uh, x bar so did you notice this very very important result which may be asked in lot of exams mcq problems also that if you take the regression line of y on x then the ordered pair x bar comma y bar where x bar is the mean uh, of uh, x values and y bar is the mean of y values pass through this line because it is satisfying the line of regression okay 
so this is the regression line of uh, y on x similarly we can also talk about the regression line of x on y now to find the regression line of x on y uh, what we have to do we have the regression line x is equal to a plus b y so we are going to take the summation in both sides so in the left hand side it will become summation of x and if i add uh, the terms in the right hand side a will come n times so it will be n into a plus b into summation of y and i hope it is clear to you because how this n is coming then this is the first line of regression sorry first normal equation and then what we do we multiply this equation by y now so, and take the summation in both sides so if i multiply it by y so it will become x into y and then i will take the summation in the right hand side it is a and if i multiply it by y it is a times summation of y and plus b and times summation of y square so this is the equation number two and uh, these two equations are again the normal equation and from this also you can note that if i divide both sides by n we get summation of x by n is equal to a plus b summation of y by n it means what that x bar is equal to a plus b y bar so uh, on through this regression line also the uh, you know point x bar comma y bar pass through it and if you are smart enough you must have realized that if you uh, solve these two lines this uh, this equation like uh, this equation and this equation what will you get uh, means x bar and y bar is a common point means these two lines of regression the line of regression of y on x and the line of regression of uh, x on y uh, they intersect at a point and that point is given by uh, x bar comma y bar because i hope you understand that if there is a common point this point is coming on the regression line of y on x suppose this is the regression line of y on x and this is the regression line of x on y so there is a common point means what that at this point these two lines intersect so this is also a very important concept which we are going to use uh, before I solve a problem uh, this is a very important thing some of you might be thinking that whether one regression line is not sufficient because why we require two regression line because when we are using the principle of least square when we are fitting the regression line of y on x what we do we minimize the uh, perpendicular distance but when i will uh, fit the regression line of x on y we will minimize the horizontal distance so one line of regression will not be sufficient i would like to uh, like you to think more about it so whenever uh, just for understanding purpose i just give you a uh, clear answer here that when x is the independent variable and we have to predict the value of y in that case we take the regression line of y on x uh, but in case when y is given or y is the independent variable and we have to predict the value of x in that case we require the regression line of x on y so to understand this line of regression and normal equations i have taken a very a small problem so let us solve it so uh, actually if you look at this problem they are saying find the regression lines and you you need to read the problem very carefully here they have not specified whether we have to find the regression line of y on x or x on y but they have clearly given us the hint that they want lines means they want more than one line means they want line of y on x and x on y so i'm going to solve it by the process that i have explained and in the latter part i will also talk about different processes of finding the regression line but if our data values are very uh, small then this process will work i will discuss the other process also you can decide that which one is more convenient for you so first of all uh, if i have to write the regression line of y on x then i take it y is equal to a plus bx and i have just told you what is the normal equation so we take the summation summation of y is equal to n into a plus b into summation of x and uh, we multiply it by x so we get x into y is equal to a into summation of x 
plus b into summation of x square and if i have to write the normal equation of x on y i will take x is equal to a plus b y and in that case we have to take summation so summation of x is equal to n into a plus b into summation of y and then we multiply this by y we get x into y and in the right hand side it will be a into summation of y plus b into summation of y square I have written it again for you so that you are clear about the process of writing <coughs> sorry so if you look at uh, this uh, two equation equation 1 and equation 2 here then what we need we need uh, summation of y we need summation of x we need summation of xy we need summation of x square and we also need summation of y square so I have to create a uh, column so in the first column I am writing x in the second I am writing y in the third I am writing x square I am writing y square I am writing x into y so x is 1 2 3 4 and 5 y is 8 7 5 9 and 11 what is x square 1 4 9 16 and 25 uh, what is y square 64 49 25 81 and 121 what is x into y 1 into 8 is 8 2 into 7 is 14 3 into 5 is 15 4 into 9 is 36 5 into 11 is 55 let us calculate the summation so let me draw a common line so that uh, what is the summation of x here summation of x here is uh, 3 3 6 4 10 and 5 15 so summation of x is 15 what is the summation of y summation of y is since we don't have a space i am writing under it you need to draw the you know uh, table in a better way so that you get sufficient aspect I have drawn it so that I can do the calculation on this part so what is summation of y 8 plus 7 15 15 plus 5 20 and 20 plus 20 is equal to uh, 40 what is summation of x square summation of x square if you add it you will get 55 you can verify uh, uh, 9 plus 1 10 plus 4 14 14 plus 16 that is uh, for, uh, that is 14 plus 16 is 30 and then 55 if you take the summation of y square how much you will get uh, you have to uh, do the calculation so let's do the calculation here so if you do the calculation what you will get is 340 you can verify and if you take the summation of x into y uh, if you al add all these values you will get 128 now uh, first thing I am going to uh, find the regression line of y on x so what are the two normal equations so the first normal equation is summation of y how much is the summation of y that is 40 is equal to n what is n here so 1 2 3 4 5 there are 5 pair of values so n is 5 so I write 5a plus b into summation of x so summation of x is 15 so what I write is 15 B so this is the first equation 5 a plus 15 B is equal to 40 and then the next equation is summation of uh, X Y so we get 128 and then uh, a into summation of X so a into summation of X is equal to 15 a plus B into summation of X square so that is 55 B okay so we have got this equation right this equation and this equation now we have to solve these two equations to find the value of a and b so to solve it i am multiplying this equation by 3 so if i multiply this by 3 how much i will get 40 into 3 will be 120 uh, 3 into 5 is 15 a and i hope you understand why i have multiplied so that i want to cancel a and then 15 into 3 is 45 b so if I subtract it this minus this minus and this minus is cancelled 15 a and 15 a cancel 128 minus 120 is 8 and here I get 55 minus 45 that is equal to how much that is equal to 10 so we get 10 uh, you know uh, B so this implies what this implies B is equal to 8 by 10 which means uh, 4 by 5 or 0 0.8 whatever you want to write I prefer writing it in fraction 
now what is a so to get a I can use the equation number one so from this equation number one 5 a is equal to 40 minus 15 B so 40 minus 15 into B B is 4 by 5 so this cancel so we get 5 a is equal to how much we get 5 a is equal to 40 minus uh, uh, 12 uh, that is uh, 28 so a is equal to 28 by 5 so what is the regression line of y on x y is equal to a that is uh, 28 by 5 28 by 5 and plus uh, bx so b is 4 by 5 so that is 4 by 5x so this is the first part the regression line of uh, y on x right and uh, just to uh, do one more uh, thing I have to find the regression line of x on y so how to find the regression line of x on y uh, so I have to write these two normal equations and I have to solve them so for that we have to move to the next page so the first normal equation is let me uh, move to the next page so that uh, it is easier for you to understand so uh, here I have this uh, regression line of x on y the normal equation I have copied it from here so you can see summation of x is equal to n a plus b summation of y and summation of x y is equal to a into summation of y plus b into summation of y square and here I have substituted the value of summation of a n is 5 and all these things so these two are the normal equations for x on y so I have to solve them to solve them it is very clear that I need to multiply the equation number this equation by 8 so to multiply this by 8 uh, 15 8 ja 120 and here I write uh, 40 a plus uh, 40 into 8 is 320 B so if I subtract I get what I get uh, uh, 40 a 40 a cancel 8 is equal to uh, 20 B right so this implies we get B value that is 8 by 20 so uh, <coughs> sorry 8 by 20 so I can write uh, 2 by uh, 5 yes or no so 2 by 5 is the value of uh, 4 times 2 and 4 times 5 is 20 yeah so b is equal to 2 by 5 and how will I get a so to get a uh, I will take the equation uh, this again so uh, 5a is equal to 15 uh, minus 40b so 15 and uh, minus 40 into b that is 2 by 5 so this 5 and this 40 is cancelled so I get 8 so 15 minus 8 into 2 is 16 so that I get is uh, minus 1 so a is equal to minus 1 by 5 so the regression line of x on y is equal to uh, what was the regression line uh, that was uh, uh, you know x is equal to a plus b y so what is the value of a the value of a that I have got is minus 1 by 5 and the value of b that I have got is 2 by 5 y so these are the two regression line that is uh, y is equal to 28 by 5 plus 4 by 5 x and x is equal to minus 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 y right now uh, I want uh, you to understand one more thing which I highlighted in the uh, discussion earlier that I am writing this line y is equal to 28 by 5 let me write here uh, y is equal to 28 by 5 plus what is the other part that is 4 by 5 x so plus 4 by 5 x this was my regression line of y on x right and my regression line of x on y is given by uh, minus 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 y right now uh, if I ask you that solve these two equations to get the value of x and y so how can we solve it uh, just to uh, make it look better I can write the first equation this this equation as y minus 4 by 5 x is equal to 28 by 5 and the second equation I can write x uh, minus 2 by 5 y is equal to minus 1 by 5 and if you want to solve them what you can do uh, you can uh, just uh, you know you want to multiply this equation by 2 by 5 so if you multiply this equation by 2 by 5 you will get what you will get 2 by 5 y uh, minus so 2 
2 into 4 is 8 and uh, 5 into 5 is 25 25 x and you are multiplying it by 2 by 5 so it will become 28 into 2 that is uh, 56 by 25 so I just add them so if I add them this minus 2 by 5 1 and 2 by 5 y will cancel so what I will get x minus 8 uh, x by 25 so uh, 25 minus 8 so 17 by 25 x and from here what I get uh, minus 1 by 5 plus 56 by 25 so if you simplify it you will get uh, minus 5 plus 56 by uh, 25 so actually you are getting 51 by 25 so if you solve this equation what you will get 25 and 25 will cancel and you will get x is equal to 3 right and uh, if you put the value of x in any of this equation for example if I put the value of x in the first equation what will be the value of y so the value of y will be 28 by 5 plus 4 uh, by 5 into 3 so 28 by 5 plus 12 by 5 so it is uh, 40 by 5 that is equal to 8 so the y value you have got 8 so did you notice uh, this uh, solution of the regression line of y on x and x on y it is basically given you the x bar and y bar so here x is equal to 3 is basically the average the mean of x the mean of x is equal to 3 and the mean of y is equal to 8 so if you solve two regression line you, I will uh, leave th uh, this for you to verify if I ask you or, or you can verify here clearly what is the mean of x so summation of x is 15 so x bar is equal to 15 by 5 that is equal to 3 and if I ask you what is y bar so y bar is actually 40 by 5 so that is equal to 40 by 5 that is equal to 8 and when you are solving the two lines of regression you are getting x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 8 so it means that given two lines of reg regression if you solve them you get the mean values okay so I guess up to this everything is clear okay so uh, the process I discussed sometimes uh, may not be very useful especially in case when the x and y values are bigger so creating this table finding x square finding y square finding x y all this may take lot of time and effort so there are other ways also of writing the regression line and uh, these are important uh, so you need to remember them so another way of writing the regression line of y on x is given by y minus y bar e equal to r times sigma y by sigma x x minus x bar where this uh, constant this uh, r times sigma y by sigma x is also written as uh, byx right so byx x minus x bar and similarly if you write the regression line of x on y so to write the regression line of x on y we follow the same idea that here we write x minus x bar if uh, I'm writing the regression line of x on y we write x minus x bar in the left and in the right it is r and x on y so x comes in the numerator and y comes in the denom denominator so r times sigma x by sigma y y minus y bar so it is easy to remember see if it is y on x where we write y minus y bar if it is x on y we write x minus x bar r r are common y on x so sigma y by sigma x x on y so sigma x by sigma y and then x minus x bar y minus y, y bar uh, this is y uh, byx and this is bxy so this is also known as the regression coefficient of x on y that is bxy so this is basically the regression coefficient of x on y and this is what this is the regression coefficient of y on x and it is equal to what it is equal to uh, r uh, sigma y by sigma x in the case of uh, byx uh, sorry byx and in case of bxy it is r sigma x by sigma y just it is easy to remember when I when you are writing byx then you write r and y comes first so in the numerator you take sigma y by sigma x when you have to write bxy so r comes and then in numerator it is sigma x by sigma y 
but there is one more point which I want to highlight here and that is important and uh, you will see that there are so many things so you should not get confused and again I repeat this video is going to be a longer video because I want everything to be uh, in the same video so you don't have to go again here and there so one more way of writing this if you remember in uh, my correlation coefficient or correlation video i have discussed that th what is this r this r is basically the correlation coefficient between x and y and sigma x and sigma y are the uh, standard deviations of x and y so this regression line can also be written um, if i call this regression line as one so one can also be written as y minus y bar and r what is r how do you calculate r if you remember the formula to calculate r was covariance of x y by sigma x sigma y if you do not remember or if you have uh, a confusion related to this you need to watch the correlation video so here i am writing in place of r i am writing covariance of x y by sigma x uh, into sigma y and here we have sigma y by sigma x already so sigma y by sigma x x minus x bar so here sigma y and sigma y will be cancelled so what i will get is y minus y bar is equal to covariance of x and y divided by sigma x square into x minus x bar so in case if we are our data or information is given in this format we can use this also similarly for this if i uh, write it in this form what i will get i will get x minus x bar is equal to uh, covariance of x and y right and here i will get what here i will get sigma uh, y square y minus y bar i hope you can understand because what will happen here it is r will be like covariance of x y by sigma x sigma y and you write sigma x by sigma y again so sigma x and sigma x cancel so what i get is sigma y square so these two are uh, another way of writing the line of regression so you see there are many ways y minus y bar is this and which is being called as the regression coefficient of y on x and regression coefficient of x on y i will take a big problem so just be uh, clear i will uh, talk about it don't lose the patience continue till the very end but there are certain important thing which i want to discuss and these are very very important especially for multiple choice question so be very clear about this so properties of regression coefficient so let's discuss them one by one so the first property is that correlation coefficient that is r is the geometric mean of regression coefficient so we have just seen what was the regression coefficient byx and what was byx r times sigma y by sigma x yes and what is bxy the coefficient of x on y that was r times sigma x by sigma y so thus uh, if you multiply byx into bxy what you get you get r square because r and r will become r square sigma y and sigma x so did you uh, get this or not you you got r is equal to under root of uh, byx into bxy so basically uh, if you are calculating uh, uh, under root of ab it gives you the geometric mean of a and b right so here i can take plus or minus because if r square is this r will be either positive sign or with positive sign or with negative sign but one thing which is very important and again i am highlighting it, it 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 should be kept in mind that the sign of regression coefficients and the sign of correlation coefficient is same so uh, everything like b y x b x y and r will all be of the same sign so if b y x is positive then b x y should also be positive and in that case r will be positive right if b x y is negative then b uh, y x should also be negative and r should also be negative so all the three either they are all positive or they are all negative if they are not then this will create a problem like if one is positive and another is negative then r will be an imaginary quantity you know but if both are positive then uh, r will be taken as positive if both are negative then r will be taken as negative so this is the first property uh, and mcq questions can be asked uh, on this so 
keep these properties in mind second property if one of the regression coefficient is greater than unity then other must be less than unity and why it is so because we have seen that r is equal to under root of p x y into uh, b uh, b y x into b x y uh, and we also know from our previous class or from our previous video that r can take its value between minus 1 to 1 so if both of them suppose for example if both of them become greater than 1 right then what will happen then r will become greater for example if i take uh, one is equal to two and another is equal to three then under root two into three it will be greater than n but r can't be greater than n so r uh, must lie between minus one and one so that is what it is saying that if one of the reg regression coefficient is greater than unity then other must be less than unity so that when you multiply them they cancel and becomes the uh, regression coefficient becomes less than or equal to one right third property is that the modulus value of arithmetic mean of regression coefficient is not less than or we can also say greater than or equal to the modulus value of the correlation coefficient and this is also a very uh, obvious thing you must have all studied that arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean so if i take the arithmetic mean of the regression coefficient it will be greater than or equal to the geometric mean and since the sign of all of it is taken positive so that is why we are taking modulus right so uh, the fourth property is and this is very very important property and I will also be using this property while solving the problems so regression coefficients are independent of change of origin and a scale so basically what does this mean when when I say change of origin or a scale means what that suppose there is a uh, reg uh, cha what do you mean by change in origin suppose I have a variable X and Y right and I define another variable u as x plus alpha and v as y plus beta so what I have done I have changed the I have changed the origin I have shifted the origin what is the meaning of change of a scale if I define a variable like u is equal to x plus alpha suppose I, I say something like h and y uh, v is equal to y plus beta by k so here we are not only changing the uh, you know uh, uh, origin but we are also changing the uh, scale if i so this involves this kind of transformation basically is involving the change of vari uh, change of origin as well as change of a uh, scale suppose i have x and y and i change x to 2x and y to 2y so what we have done we have changed the uh, scale here right i have multiplied x by 2 i have multiplied y by 2 so i have changed the uh, scale but if i uh, write uh, x minus 3 and y minus 3 so now what i have done i have changed the uh, you know uh, origin so regression coefficient are independent of change of origin this is very very important independent of change of origin but not of a scale so if you change the variable uh, if you define a new set of variable by just changing the origin the regression coefficient will not change but if you uh, change the uh, scale then the regression coefficient will change this uh, thing will become clear to you when I will be solving the problem so I hope all these four properties are clear to you now again uh, and I will be taking examples so don't worry but before I take examples let us discuss about this very important thing and this is also very very important for multiple choice questions so we are going to find the angles between two regression line so uh, we have just seen the other form of regression line that is y minus y bar that is the regression line of y on x uh, r times sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar and regression line of x on y is given by x minus x bar is equal to r times sigma x by sigma y y minus y bar uh, from your previous class in uh, you know uh, class 11 or 12 you have studied about finding the angle between two lines so when you find the angle between two line you write both the line like y is equal to m1 x plus c1 and y is equal to m2 x plus c2 but here if you look at this uh, this this second line uh, from this one I mean if I uh, rewrite this line I can rewrite this line as y is equal to r times 
सिग्मा वाई बाई सिग्मा एक्स इन टू एक्स राइट आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग बाई एक्स एंड माइनस आर टाइम्स सिग्मा वाई बाई सिग्मा एक्स इन टू एक्स बार दिस प्रोडक्ट एंड प्लस वाई बार सो दिस होल थिंग इज बेसिकली दिस होल थिंग इज बेसिकली नथिंग बट ए कॉन्स्टेंट राइट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू एम टू यू नो एम टू एक्स प्लस सी सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू फर्स्ट री राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो हाउ विल यू री राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन जस्ट लेट मी राइट ओवर हेयर सो आई राइट वाई माइनस वाई बार आई एम री राइटिंग दिस so y minus y bar will be equal to uh, sigma y i am multiplying this term in the left hand side by r sigma x into x minus x bar right and now it will look like what it will look like y is equal to sigma y by r sigma x into x right and then uh, plus y bar i take this y bar in the right hand side and minus minus if you multiply this uh, sigma y by r sigma x into x bar now our interest basically lies in two thing our interest lies here that what is the coefficient of x so this is the first slope of the line and what is the coefficient of the uh, x in the second line so this is the second slope so basically if you allow me i will call the slope of the first line as r sigma y by sigma x coefficient of x you see this is known as the slope of line and if i ask you what is m2 so m2 is equal to uh, sigma y by r sigma x so if i have to find the angle between them i calculate something known as tan theta so tan theta is m1 minus m2 so m1 is r sigma y by sigma x minus m2 that is sigma y by r sigma x divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 so 1 plus r sigma y by sigma x into sigma y by r sigma x i hope you uh, remember this formula to find the angle between two lines we use the formula mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 into m2 where uh, m1 and m2 are the slope of two lines okay and again i repeat when i was writing the line x minus x bar it was written in such a way that uh, the y was the uh, independent variable but when we are trying to find the angle we have to take x as the independent variable for both the line so that i can find the slope appropriately now uh proceeding forward uh, what i have to do i have to find the i have to simplify this expression so to simplify this expression i uh, have to uh, add them so i am going to do the calculation here so if you take the uh, lcm for this uh, this part it will be uh, r times sigma x so here i am writing r times sigma x and in the numerator you will get what uh, uh, here you will get r square uh, sigma y so i am writing here r square sigma y minus sigma y uh, and this this is divided by if you add the denominator what will be your lcm your lcm will be this r and this r will be cancelled here it will be sigma y square by sigma x square so if you simplify it you will get sigma x square plus sigma y square by sigma x square i hope you can see that right you do it together with me so that you don't uh, miss anything and so this i define now if you simplify it further uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this will become what this will become r square minus 1 sigma y by r times sigma x into sigma x square by sigma x square plus sigma y square theek hai and then we are taking the mod of it so sigma this and this is cancel and so what we are getting we are getting this is equal to uh, r square minus 1 uh, divided by r and i take the mod here and uh, then we are getting sigma x into sigma y so sigma x into sigma y divided by uh, sigma x square plus sigma y square okay now uh, because this sign will depend on r only so that is why i can uh, take this uh, this can further also be written as because we know uh, what we know 
we know that mod of r is less than equal to 1 right so this implies that r square should be less than or equal to 1 because if modulus value is less than or equal to 1 means r square so we can also say that r square minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 so if you take the modulus here modulus of r square minus 1 and it is less than or equal to 0 so it will be minus of r square minus 1 so we will get 1 minus r square so this expression becomes what this expression becomes tan theta is equal to uh, what 1 minus r square by mod of r into uh, this thing this uh, sigma x sigma y by sigma x square plus sigma y square so basically what is the angle angle is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse and this whole thing which i, I am getting 1 minus i square by mod of r sigma x sigma y by sigma x square plus sigma y square uh, please do it once again uh, so that you don't uh, uh, you know get confused and uh, there are few things which I have taken care that mod of r is less than or equal to 1 because uh, if I say uh, correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 and 1 so this is just another way of saying that mod of r is less than or equal to 1 now the value of theta will depend on the value of r and that we have discussed on the next page and this page uh, even though if you uh, do not fo uh, follow this uh, that is not a problem but you must have to keep this in mind so there are two cases i am going to dic discuss case one when r is equal to zero so if you put r is equal to zero here what will you get you will get one by zero uh, forget about this part but if you put r is equal to 0 here you will get what you will get theta is equal to tan inverse 1 by 0 so 1 by 0 is how much 1 by 0 means infinity so if r is equal to 0 means tan theta is equal to infinity and when tan theta becomes infinity when theta is equal to pi by 2 so it means what when we say r is equal to 0 uh, in correlation coefficient you have seen that if correlation coefficient is equal to 0 means two variables are not correlated they are uncorrelated and if two variables are uncorrelated the lines of regression become perpendicular to each other so this may be asked as a mcq question that when if uh, the lines become perpendicular when the variables are uncorrelated uh, second possibility is that if I take r is equal to plus minus 1 so if you take r is equal to plus minus 1 in this you will get 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 so theta will become tan inverse 0 and tan inverse 0 is equal to what tan inverse 0 means uh, theta is equal to either 0 or pi you know this result that tan 0 is equal to 0 and tan pi is also equal to 0 so theta will become either 0 or pi so in this case uh, when there is a perfect co correlation r is equal to plus 1 means there is a perfect positive correlation i have written this twice so just ignore this if r is equal to 1 then there is a perfect positive correlation if r is equal to minus 1 means there is a perfect negative correlation so in this case two lines of regression either coincide coincide means they are lying over each other if the angle between two line is equal to zero means they are lying over each other or they are parallel if two lines are parallel also uh, then their angle between them is either theta uh, equal to zero or pi but earlier we also have seen that x bar y bar passes through both the lines so if there is a common point between two lines then these two lines can't be parallel by parallel line what we mean that they never intersect but if x bar comma y bar lies on both the lines so two lines will one side only they can't be parallel so this is what i have written so hence hence in case of perfect correlation means when r is equal to either plus one or minus one uh, the two lines of regression coincide means they lie over each other okay so this uh, this part you have to remember and the derivation that i have done sometimes they may ask you in the exam so that also you need to keep in mind okay so these are some of the interesting thing related to this now what we are going to discuss next will uh, take care of many questions and many doubts that i have highlighted so this again will be a slightly longer problem so be with me till the very end okay so let's continue the solution of this so uh, here we have to solve means obtain the equations of two lines of regression for the following data set 
uh, I will be finding the regression line of uh, y on x and I will leave for you as an exercise problem to find the regression line of x on y. I will create the table for both of it. So first of all, I, I want you to uh, recall the one problem that I already have solved to write the normal equation. So but if you solve it by that method and uh, I, I leave this for you as an exercise that try by the method that I have already discussed. Which method? That writing the normal equation, uh, writing the equation like a plus bx and then writing the normal equation and then getting two normal equations and then uh, getting summation x, summation xy and all those values. So just I explained, I think you remember that. But here I am going to use another method and to use another method what I am going to do I am going to use the concept that uh, regression coefficient is independent of change of origin you just want to uh, I just want you to uh, see that uh, property that I just discussed which property uh, this property uh, that regression coefficient are independent of change of origin but not of a scale so what I am going to do I am going to change the origin here so that we don't have to get confused uh, so how we are going to change the origin this is the same problem which I have taken in the case of correlation coefficient so there also uh, if you remember correlation coefficient is independent of both the change of origin and change of a scale I want to uh, do one more thing if I have to find the regression coefficient of y on x what do we need we need uh, this y minus y bar is equal to r sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar just be clear that what I am planning to do so I am planning to do this y minus y bar is equal to r and in place of r I am going to write covariance of x y by sigma x sigma y into sigma y by sigma x x minus x bar right so sigma y sigma y cancel so basically I want y minus y bar is equal to covariance of x y by sigma x square into x minus x bar so what we need we need uh, x bar so first of all we have to calculate x bar we have to calculate y bar and then we need covariance of x and y what is the formula for covariance of x y this is expectation of x y uh, minus expectation of x into expectation of y right if I have to find the covariance of x y so uh, basically what we have to do uh, and what is the expectation of x y so expectation of x y is uh, I hope you remember to calculate the expectation of x y I write 1 by n summation of x into y and how to calculate expectation of x so to calculate expectation of x I need to write 1 by n summation of x expectation means just the average expectation of y is 1 by n summation of y don't get get confused with uh, capital X or y I think in the very first video when I talked about this I told you that x is the value that uh, random variable uh, capital X can take so the notation should not be that much confusing but the point that I want to highlight here that if you find the covariance of uh, x here again you have to multiply x and y and multiplying this x and y is again going to be a time consuming thing so what I am going to do I am going to use the concept that covariance of x and y so covariance also covariance is also independent of change of origin right so if I define a new set of variable like u is equal to x minus something and v is equal to y minus something then covariance of x and y will be equal to covariance of u and v there will be no change in the covariance between u and v and x and y if I am changing the origin changing the ori origin means shifting the origin adding something to x and something to y right one more thing what we need uh, here we need sigma x square so to calculate sigma x square uh, we can uh, there is a property related to the variance of it that uh, if you have to calculate uh, sigma of x square so the property tells you that if you have to calculate the variance of uh, ax plus b 
here i hope you understand x has been the uh, the origin has also been changed and the scale also has been changed so the variance of x plus b is defined as a square into variance of x right so uh, if i uh, have to calculate the uh, like if i am defining a variable where uh, where basically what we are doing we are changing the uh, you know origin then there is no change in the variance also got my point or not the point is simple that if i just here if i am changing the scale then there is a change in uh, you know uh, variance suppose i ask you what is the variance of x plus b so variance of x plus b will remain the variance of x because the coefficient of x is 1 so i multiply it by 1 square so all these points i am going to consider i hope you have understood this if you have not again i will uh, look at this so let us uh, do few calculation before i uh, move ahead and please watch this video uh, very carefully in case if you are not getting make sure that you put that in the comment section so i have actually calculated the summation of x here and if i take the summation of x i get 444 and if i take the summation of y i will get 552 and i want the iran of regulation as y minus y bar is equal to uh, covariance of covariance of x and y divided by divided by sigma x square so i am going to use this line this formula sigma x square into x minus x bar so for that we we, we require x bar so uh, what is x bar here so, so x bar is uh, uh, 544 544 divided by I am writing here you can write in the bottom because we don't have a space so there are 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 you know uh, pairs so divided by 8 it will give me 68 and similarly uh, to get uh, y bar uh, I will get uh, 552 by 8 so 552 by 8 so that will give me the value that is 69 so now I am defining a new set of variable that is u and that is v so I am not changing the scale I am changing the origin right I am shifting the origin so it means it will not affect the regression coefficient if I divide something suppose I define something like x minus 68 by 10 then it will create a problem but here if I am just changing the uh, you know origin it won't create a problem so you need to keep this in mind now uh, you I am defining x minus 68 so just for our calculation purpose 65 minus 68 it will be minus 3 minus 2 uh, minus 1 minus 1 then 0 then 1 then 2 and then 4 and if you take the summation of u summation of u will be 0 because you have taken the deviation from mean right if it is not 0 means you have done some mistake you can verify 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 and uh, 1 plus 1 uh, minus uh, you know 2 minus 4 and minus 7 so it is correct v so 67 minus 69 so that is uh, minus 2 minus 1 uh, minus 4 uh, minus 1 and then uh, 3 uh, 3 0 and 2 so what is summation of v summation of v should also be 0 verify 3 plus 3 uh, 6 plus 2 8 and here also it is 8 u into v 6 uh, 2 4 1 0 uh, 1 into 3 3 2 into 0 uh, 0 and 8 what is summation of u into v so it is uh, 8 3 11 12 uh, 16 uh, 18 and 6 24 we require summation of u square the summation of u square is uh, 9 4 uh, 1 1 uh, 0 1 4 and 16 so summation of uh, this is 24 summation of u square is equal to 36 you have to calculate summation of v square to calculate the regression line of uh, x on y i am going to do just one of them now everything i know i have to first calculate covariance of x and y so covariance of x and y right is equal to 
covariance so oh, i am writing cos <laughs> so covariance covariance of u and v this is important i repeat covariance is independent of change of origin so what is the covariance between x and y the same will be the covariance between u and v right and that is why calculating the covariance of u and v is easier so that is why i have done this thing right so how will you calculate covariance of u and v it is uh, expectation of u into v minus expectation of u into expectation of v that is the definition we have studied that so it is 1 by n into summation of u into v minus 1 by n summation of u into 1 by n summation of v and we have seen that summation of u is equal to 0 summation of v is equal to 0 so these two terms will become 0 this is 1 by 8 and summation of uv we have got how much 24 so we got 24 and minus 0 into 0 so we got 3 so the first thing we got that is covariance of x and y now we have to calculate sigma x square so sigma x square is equal to sigma uh, u square because as i told you that if you are calculating variance of a x plus b it is equal to a square into variance of x means if you are changing the a scale then you have to multiply by a square but if you are just calculating the variance of x plus b so it is just equal to variance of x so there is no change so what is the uh, uh, variance of u square that is 1 by n summation of u square this is the formula of variance minus u bar square uh, so what is 1 by n 1 by 8 into summation of u square is 36 which we have got uh, 36 and minus 0 square so we are getting 36 by 8 that is 4.5 right now have we got everything we have got everything so now let us uh, do the calculation so y minus y bar is equal to uh, uh, covariance what is covariance uh, covariance of x and y so covariance of x and y is 3 okay so I am writing 3 by uh, sigma x square that is 4.5 minus x minus x bar so what is x bar here x bar here is uh, 68 so I write minus 68 so if you do the simplification you will get uh, y and what is y minus y bar y bar is 69 so y minus 69 is equal to 3 by 4.5 is basically 0 0.66 into x minus 68 right so this gives me y is equal to 0 0.66 x and if you simplify 0 0.66 into 68 minus 69 then uh, whatever value you will get will be the constant term so i'm uh, i'm leaving that for you so it, i take 69 in the right hand side minus 68 into 0 0.66 so you simplify and get it so this is the regression coefficient of y on x i hope you have got this uh, so uh, i repeat some of the points so that you are uh, thorough up with the concept basically this problem could have also been solved by the previous method by writing the normal equation and when i say the previous method uh, the method that i discussed in this problem if you remember calculating x square y square and x y and all but uh, here if you do this i mean this is your choice whether you want to do it but i would suggest you that if the data is bigger like uh, uh, like this kind of data then it is always better to change the uh, origin and in case of changing the origin also uh, we ch we take the deviation from the mean so if the data is big we take the sum we take the sum we calculate their mean means like we calculate x bar we calculate y bar and then we define a new variable u and v and then for u summation of u will be zero summation of v will be zero because if you define u as x minus x bar and v as y minus y bar then you calculate u v u square and this part i have left for you to calculate v square and find the regression coefficient of 
of uh, uh, x on y and then we are going to use the formula that is y minus y bar is equal to covariance of x y so covariance of x y will be similar to the covariance of u v and how do you calculate the covariance of u v uh, that is uh, expectation of u v minus expectation of u into expectation of v expectation of u v is just the average of u v so you take the summation of u v by n and then this is of course 0 and 0 so you calculate covariance of u v and uh, the variance of x is also equal to the variance of u because you are not changing the scale you are just changing the origin so that you got here so this is your covariance and this is means covariance of uv is equal to covariance of xy so in place of covariance of xy i have put the covariance of uv and then we put the uh, variance of u uh, and then i uh, simplified this everything i was already aware y bar and x bar so i just simplified so this is how we can solve this kind of problem this is uh, already a long video but since uh, i want to uh, summarize or include everything in just word video so uh, i am continuing so this is another problem and very important in a partially destroyed laboratory record of analysis of correlation data the following uh, results are legible legible means you can read them it is given that variance of x means sigma x uh, square is e uh, equal to 9 means the uh, standard deviation sigma x is equal to 3 and the regression equations are uh, this we are uh, we are writing the regression equation so we have to find the mean value of x and y so this is the first part is a very easy question the mean pass through the origin so um, sorry mean uh, i made a mistake the mean lies on both the line means mean pass to the regression line on this and this so how to solve it you are going to uh, satisfy this equation so 8 x bar minus 10 y bar uh, is equal to minus 66 and then uh, 40 x bar minus 18 y bar is equal to 214 so if you solve these two equations you will get uh, the x bar value is equal to 13 and y bar value that is the mean of y is equal to 17 so whenever they give you two lines of regression and ask you to find the mean then you just solve them and what you get is the value of x which is the mean of x and value of y which is the mean of y so this uh, we have done while illustrating the uh, example also second part is the correlation coefficient between x and y so how do you find the correlation coefficient between x and y so correlation coefficient be between x and y uh, is the actually the geometric mean between uh, the correlation coefficient of y on x and correlation coefficient of x on y yes or no so uh, let us uh, take the regression line i am taking the regression line like uh, 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 8x minus 10y and uh, this so i am calling this regression line of y on x so 8x minus 10y plus 66 is equal to 0 and i am considering that this is y on x and uh, it is also very important that uh, why we are considering this uh, the regression line of y on x i will explain that later and this line i am considering the regression line so if i am considering this as the regression line of y on x how it can be written it can be written as 10 y is equal to 8 x plus 66 i can take 10 y in the that side so y will become 8 by 10 x plus 66 by 10 so the regression coefficient of y on x b y x is 8 by 10 right and since i uh, want to use this space so i am changing the color and the second line that i am considering that is 40 x minus 18 y is equal to 214 and i am calling this the regression line of y on x so here i want to calculate bxy so how will you calculate bxy i will write uh, 40 x is equal to 18 y plus 214 so x will be equal to what x will be equal to 18 by 40 y plus 214 so basically the b x y because when you write the regression line of x on y you write x is equal to uh, y something plus means y in the other side i hope you remember when i was writing the regression line of y on x i was writing a plus b x 
and x on y so i was writing x is equal to a plus b y so this is what we have written so b x y the regression coefficient is uh, 18 by 40 right now we have b x y also continuing on the next page we have b uh, uh, x y is how much b x y is 18 by 14 so 18 by 14 can be also written as 9 by 20 and we have b y x that is 8 by 10 so b y x that is 8 by 10 so uh, if you multiply them r square is equal to mm, this into this so 9 by 20 into 8 by 10 so how much is that uh, that will be equal to uh, 4 2 4 will give me 5 and uh, if I take this uh, uh, 9 by 20 and 8 by 10 so it is correct or not uh, just give me a moment I have to multiply r square so I think I made some mistake somewhere uh, so r square is equal to uh, uh, 9 by 20 right 9 by 20 uh, into 8 by 10 okay so uh, I will get how much I will uh, if I take 8 by 10 it is basically 4 by 5 right so I am getting 9 into 4 that is 36 and uh, 20 into 5 that is 100 so that can also be written as 9 by 25 right so r square is 9 by 25 so r is equal to plus minus 3 by 5 and as I have told you that uh, the regression coefficient and the correlation coefficient everything should have the same sign so the regression coefficient of x uh, on x on y is positive this is also positive so r should also be positive so r should be 0 0.6 so this is the answer for the second part and the, what is the third part of the problem third part of the problem is that uh, uh, a standard deviation of y so we have to find uh, a standard deviation of y so how to find the standard deviation of y so we know that b y x b y x is equal to r times a sigma y by sigma x right so b y x is uh, how much b uh, this was b y x yes or no uh, what was b y x b y x is 8 by 10 i am writing b y x this is b y x okay so b y x is a uh, 8 by 10 and uh, r is 0 0.6 right or 3 by 5 into sigma y uh, they have already given us uh, sigma y is not given sigma x they have given sigma y they want to calculate us so sigma y and sigma x is 3 so if i solve this what i will get i will get sigma y is equal to uh, 0 0.8 uh, into 3 by 0 0.6 so it will be like uh, cancel it it will be 2 4 uh, 2 3 and this will cancel so what I will, I will get is sigma y is equal to 4 so this is just the manipulation uh, I hope you are uh, getting the points okay so uh, moving ahead uh, let us solve uh, but before I uh, uh, do uh, the next problem I want you to understand that what was the uh, confusion suppose uh, here I have taken uh, this as the regression line of y on x and this I have taken the regression line of x on y what if I take this as the regression line of uh, y on x and this as the regression line of x on y so this is something that I am leaving for you and I want all of you to put the comment and explain me that what kind of problem you will face now there is one more question before I end the discussion or rather two a small question find the most likely price in Mumbai corresponding to price 70 at uh, Kolkata from the following and it is given that the price the correlation coefficient between the price of commodities in two cities are uh, related by uh, this relation so uh, how do you solve this kind of problem so to solve this kind of problem again I am going to use the formula what is the formula that uh, y minus y bar is equal to r sigma y by sigma x x minus x bar and I am considering the price in Kolkata as x and price in Mumbai as y so we have to calculate uh, y value so y is equal to y bar 
so what is the y bar here price in mumbai is 67 so y bar is 67 right and plus i am taking y bar in the right hand side r is uh, 0 0.8 what is sigma y sigma y is the standard deviation of y so that is 3.5 uh, what is the sigma x this i am calling uh, x this i am calling y right and sigma x that is 2.5 x minus x bar so x and uh, uh, x uh, i have to uh, substitute the value of x uh, for 70 because if x is 70 then i have to calculate what is the value of uh, y so uh, i am calculating the x value as 70 and minus x bar so the x bar value the average price in kolkata is 65 so average price in 65 so if i simplify this value you can do the simplification the simplification will give you y is equal to 72.6 so using the degradation line we can calculate this kind of uh, problem now the last question is uh, can y is equal to this and x is equal to this be estimated regression equation for y on x and x on y respectively so y is given to be uh, 5 plus 2.8 x right so it means that this is the regression coefficient of y on x so b y x is equal to 2.8 and if you take the next line i am using the small case uh, small letters you can use capital also so 3 minus 0 0.5 y so this is uh, the regression coefficient of x on y that is minus 0 0.5 so this two is not possible why it is not possible because the regression coefficient of y on x is greater than 0 and it is less than 0 as we have seen the properties or earlier that regression coefficients are of uh, same kind it is not of different kind either they are both positive or they are both negative right so it is not possible for one of the regression coefficient to be greater than 0 and another to be less than 0 right so this is not possible so this was a long video i have discussed lot of things lot of details and it is a complete video related to the linear regression so i hope you have uh, watched the video till the very end and please do share with everyone else in case of doubt in case if you feel like there is any doubt put the doubt in the comment section i will certainly help you so that's all for this video thanks for watching